Most dads make the same fitness mistakes that lead to burnout, frustration, and failure. In this video, I'm going to break down three biggest mistakes that are holding you back and show you how just 20 minutes, three times a week can turn it all around. Stick with me and let's make sure you don't fall into these traps. Number one. Mistake number one is trying to do too much too fast. Dads often dive headfirst into fitness with an unrealistic plan, working out for hours a day, following extreme diets, or pushing their bodies too hard right from the start. This is unsustainable, and when you try to jump into something, you immediately, within a couple of days, have an extreme amount of soreness and pain, especially if you've been doing it really hard and vigorously which pushes you back even farther because you can't get back into it the next day. And then you start to fall into the old traps and challenges of your wife needing your assistant, your children all over you trying to get things and help and assistance and love from you, your boss is in a demanding situation and he absolutely needs you to help you out. There's all kinds of things that jump into this and you've already started this massive plan to try and work out and do too much and it simply just doesn't help um, to, to keep on that. So that is the first mistake, trying to do too much too fast. Um, and if you have a plan and you start to work through with these things and you can do it 20 minutes a day, three days a week, really start small, start tiny, this is absolutely going to improve upon your ability to keep going from a longevity perspective. It's manageable and it's a commitment that helps dads build consistency without overwhelming your schedule and your bodies. And by focusing on progress over perfection, you can stay motivated and avoid that burnout. So don't just jump straight into it head first. Have a plan and make a process moving forward to that. And that leads directly into number two, not having a plan. Many dads, they start their fitness journey without that structured plan. They might do a random workout they find online or they hit the gym, but they don't know what exercises to focus on. So this is a lack of direction that leads to confusion and efficiency importantly and poor results. So when you don't have a plan, you just walk into a gym and you get a gym membership, you find whatever space is open and available and you do back what you did in high school, right? I'm gonna hop on the bench, I'm going to do some curls, but you don't line it up and hit those muscles with specific uh, direction and severity such that you increase the muscle mass and you get the gains that you're looking to get out of it. So having that plan is absolutely crucial. So my recommendation to you is to write it out. Do both cardio and do muscle. And it's okay to repeat your favorites. So for me personally, when I work out 20 minutes a day, three days a week, I'm typically always including at least two, sometimes three things. One is absolutely push-ups. I do push-ups every time I'm working out. I feel like one, it gives you the chest. So when you're trying to uh, take your shirt off at the pool, things like that, you can feel more comfortable from that perspective. It engages your core. And it's definitely a good way to just continue and keep that. Plus I like push-ups. Um, that, that's a good way to do. The second one, that I typically always do is curls. Again, for obvious reasons, that helps from a look perspective. And that's just one of my favorite exercises. And then from there, I go and I mix it up with those. So if I write out my plan, okay, I'm gonna go into the gym today and I'm going to do 10 minutes worth of a muscle-based workout. And I'm going to include uh, push-ups, I'm going to include curls, but what can I add into it this time? Well, maybe I can do some squats, some air squats, uh, or maybe I can switch up and I can do some incline push-ups. Things like that to both spice it up, but keep your favorites engaged with it, and then make sure to do it on some type of cadence. I love to do high intensity interval training or HIT. That is a great way to go because you can keep your heart rate up and really move forward with these exercises on a high cadence, which also helps to boost the capability of the things that you are getting out of these exercises. So you can do something like a Tabata. If you've ever heard of a Tabata, it's basically 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off of a workout, maybe eight times, and then switch over to that next exercise, right? So you got different options. You can definitely look into it, but have a plan and that will definitely help you out every single time. And that brings us to our final mistake number three, ignoring long-term health and energy opportunities and concerns for yourself. Many dads, like me in particular, I focused solely on the short-term gains like losing weight or getting back to feeling the fitness that I used to have while neglecting the bigger picture. You know, my father, he passed away at age 60 
three, and he could have avoided it. He was told by his doctors nine years ahead of time that he had high PSA levels, that he had a high potential for um, cancer, and he just ignored it, and he moved on with his life. He didn't pay attention, and he paid the ultimate price as a result of that. He missed the time that he has with his three grandchildren. I have an eight, a six, and a three-year-old girl, and we absolutely love them, and they truly miss not having their time with their grandpa. So we don't have to do that. You and I can focus on our vitality and improving on our ability to not just fixate on the aesthetics, but also prioritize how we feel on a day-to-day -day basis. So if we only focus on those quick wins without considering the long-term wellness impacts that lead to an unhealthy habits like crash diets, excessive cardio, they aren't sustainable. You and I might see some short-term results, but those gains don't last. Worst, they end up feeling more drained and you and I will feel more drained than ever before. So how can we fix it? Well, we can build in a sustainable component to our fitness program. We talk about the fitness and there are components to that and we've talked about it already, but look at your long-term health. Get into the doctor and when you get into the doctor, ask them the right questions based on your age so that you know what to focus on and just as importantly, ask for and fight for the correct labs to have taken so that you can catch some of those things ahead of time and address them directly. So combining those workouts with your vitality and those components is absolutely huge. So those are the three mistakes. The good news is you also don't have to do this alone. I've developed an entire program thinking through the challenges that I went through 10 years ago where I was really fit, a firefighter, running um, fire recruit academies and keeping all of those recruits fit, being in the fittest shape of my life, to falling out of shape during the 2020 uh, stay at home season that we all were in. I built an entire program specifically for starting tiny, having a plan and including vitality into my life. I call it the Fit Fatherhood Formula. It's just 20 minutes a day, three days a week. If that's something that's interesting to you, take a look at the description link below or in the pinned comment, and you can have some more information about that. It's a super cool program, and it includes a community of you and me and our fellow dads looking to improve upon our lives and be role models for our kids. So those are the three mistakes. What did I miss? What things do you think could be beneficial for other dads to talk about in this space? Put them in the comments below. Let's have that conversation directly with each other. And if you like this type of content, subscribe. Come on back. We got lots of great opportunities for dads like you and me to improve and be better in all aspects of life. Thanks for joining me today. Hope you have a good one. Talk to you soon.